Hello friends, this is Brian Lathe, and I'm going to do a follow-up video to one of my very, very popular videos I did recently called It's Only Five Dollars, Elton Potts Scam Review, Do Not Join This. So the URL that I am at right now is the original video that I posted, and that video is now unlisted. Okay, I've unlisted it, and then I've re-uploaded the video as a new public video. But I want to show you some things that happened. Okay, so it's a it's the company is called It's Only Five Dollars, and I guess it was June twelfth, so that was twelve days ago, that I posted this original this video originally, and I'm going to do a follow up today, and share some new information. So what I understand specifically about the company is that it is no longer doing withdrawals. Um, in fact, they are telling people. Um, that they can't withdraw until July. So that's my understanding on what is happening right now. Um, I didn't influence that. I didn't do anything about it. And I've heard a couple of people say that. So to the best of my knowledge, that's true information. Um, so I just want to share a few things. So I did, as I mentioned, I did publish this video. And then I shared it with a few people in addition to publishing it here. And um, so what happened is um, it got 230 views within a couple of days. It was like two, three, four days or so into that. And then I unlisted it. And it got three likes, but I believe it got, if I'm not mistaken, 11 dislikes. Unfortunately, uh, YouTube no longer shows publicly the number of dislikes, but I believe it was 11 dislikes. And most of my videos don't get any dislikes okay um, I occasionally I mean I would say one out of every 10 videos or maybe one out of every 15 videos gets an occasional one dislike um, I don't get a whole lot of dislikes I get way more likes on my videos I don't get like millions of them but I get way more likes than I get dislikes um, so basically what I want to say here is this guy Elton Potts sent people to my video specifically to click dislike and and give a horrible comment in the comments area um, and I don't think they really even watched the video um, so the comments are not loading here but if you want that URL and you want to see some of those comments I can definitely supply that for you um, but I unlisted it just because it was getting really awkward. I didn't delete anybody's comments, um, and I replied to most of them with really kind replies. I did my best to have very kind replies, even though some of the people were not very kind um, to me. So due to the fact that um, withdrawals are probably not happening right now, um, I think my video and this one are going to be popular because I'm going to try to make it very search engine friendly so that people will find it by searching for Elton Potts and it's only five dollars and other appropriate keywords related to this video so uh, yep I'm hoping that'll happen and I'll get more attraction that way so here is the video that I uh, that I did repost okay so now since then um, I guess it was posted actually the day after so it was one day after uh, June 13th and now this has been public for 11 days and it's had 877 views so just by natural I didn't pump this out there by any artificial means I just let YouTube algorithm take care of this one and it has gotten 21 likes zero dislikes and uh, 877 views I'm very very happy with that um, so like a thousand views combined between the two videos but on that first video the content is identical um, that first video had a lot of people sent to it um, with the intention of just disliking it and giving a negative comment so the comments I guess are not loading again on this video but all well I'm gonna say the majority of the videos are actually or the majority of the comments here are actually positive there are a few negative ones but I've done my best again to um, you know to communicate with those people in a kind manner and I didn't I have not ever deleted any of my YouTube comments except if it was like completely unrelated 
not on these videos, on other videos, I've del deleted things that were definitely completely scam or like completely not related. Like the person somehow probably commented on the wrong video because the comment had nothing to do with my video whatsoever. Um, I did delete that because I didn't even know what I was supposed to say back to that person. So anyway, um, I wanted to share what I did with those videos. I wanted to share that it seems like this is not paying. I want to, um, I want to, uh, to say that I didn't realize it when I originally made the video and I didn't say it in the video. I just said it in the title. I said, do not join this Ponzi scheme. But after thinking about the comp plan more, I think it meets the perfect definition, like like almost the exact perfect definition of a Ponzi scheme. It is not network marketing any way, shape, or form. It is literally a Ponzi scheme. Pure and simple, 100%, no joke, Ponzi scheme. So if you want to join a Ponzi scheme and you want to join a really horrible person who sends people viciously after you, go ahead and get involved with Elton Potts and I bet you will have... A wonderful time. I'm going to bring to your attention some information here that uh, a kind gentleman pointed out to me, written by Joyce Cologne, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. So, warning, just found out that this dude that <laughs> just started a Ponzi turned $5 into 80 k I don't even think it has a name, and this was six hours ago. This is a live. This is not a screenshot. He was an old business partner about six years ago until I found found out that he's a liar, a thief, and a big-time Ponzi pimp and scammer. Ended very badly with him and his family harassing and verbally assaulting me. Oh, I think I was harassed by his followers as well. Imagine that. If you are being pitched an opportunity to turn $5 into 80 k don't believe it. You already know the saying, if it's too good to be true, it is. Well, this is one big fat lie. So it's another person also saying it's a Ponzi, besides me, and also saying that he had people harass him, or her. This dude is also a hacker and has rebroke programmed computer code in comp plans to his advantage to his advantage to line his his and his family's pockets. He even confessed a whole lot to me because he's a narcissist and a show off. He loves to brag. He's bad news. Stay away. Digital girl in a digital world. So Joyce wrote this, and um, I found out about that because Zach Losher, uh, you know, referenced me here. And uh, so a gentleman here said, I love the work you do. Keep bringing us the truth. She replied, saying, just try to prevent people from losing their money. What you're doing is teaching life lessons. Thank you. That's the same person replying there. And then I replied to ja uh, to Zach. Uh, Thank you. I believe I made a great call on this when I saw the comp plan and made a video about it on my YouTube channel. As each day passes, I see more and more people in agreement, and I'm convinced I did the right thing, even though I'm getting some flack because of doing it. It's 100% scam city. What Joyce knows if facts here... Not hearsay too. And if your video is spot on, post it. She won't mind. So uh, I'm not 100% sure if I should post a link to my video on that or not. But she is clearly talking about Elton Potts, the same person that I am referring to, um, who is the owner and leader and excuse me, leader and founder of this program called It's Only Five Dollars, and he is specifically the one who sent people to me because he reached out to me letting me know he was sending people to me to my video to specifically click dislike and leave a bad comment and probably didn't even watch it more than likely didn't even watch it like didn't I got a view credit but they didn't like watch any length or absorb any content or understanding out of what I said in the video so uh, if you haven't watched this video definitely check it out I explained two reasons why I believe the, the business opportunity is completely awful to join. It also completely meets the definition of a Ponzi scheme, which I am claiming that, as well as uh, Joyce here in this, uh, in this post is also saying that. So uh, just wanted to share the update. I don't think the business is growing that well because they're not withdrawing. 
So I would think most people who were promoting the business aren't promoting the business right now. Anyway, wish you a great day. Hope you have a fabulous day, a fabulous weekend, because it's a weekend right now. And I will talk to you soon in another video. Bye for now.